Hey everyone. So I got a lot of comments on my video like how do I create this beautiful introduction? So I thought of showing my process. Also how you can present your work like a pro. Yes, today we're going to create our own stock footage kind of mock up. So first thing first, we'll go to this website and uh, you can download the mock up. Then go to my channel for YouTube practice. You can download any video. Under the description you can download the file. After you can download a few of the mock up, you can open it in a Photoshop. For the first trick, I'm going to use this one. Basically, we need two layers. Select this mask one and click this black area uh, hold your command and click it so now you can select this particular area then click the mobile image then we can hit delete what we did basically we have deleted which we selected now we can select this below image the shadow we can select both and we can drag into xd here we can simply adjust it to the artboard now we can go to unsplash and we can search for the podium so you could get a lot of beautiful backgrounds maybe i am choosing this one this pink basically it's go with our team again we can import this into xd and we can align to our artboard now we can select our mobile also we can adjust it then select the artboard and go to file export in after effects so we could import directly for better understanding we could name our layers once is done we'll go to folder and we can drag our video then we can push the video into our middle of the layer now we can adjust it right click transform fit to height again we can adjust same height and width as our mock up now we have placed our video perfectly then we can check what is our video length so we can trim our timeline as well then if you want to export as a video so we can go to file uh, export as a video now i'm going to add one more mock up so the process is the same as the first one maybe we can turn off the background so we could see uh, that selected area but the only problem here we have a multiple layers so we can select all of them we can combine it for that just select the group and right click convert to smart object again we can right click press trace the layer so we have converted in a single layer again same as before we can select this black area and select a phone image and we can delete it the same way bg we can right click and we can make it as a single layer then we can drag into xd we'll create a same way we can align it and all three we can align properly Maybe we could change the background so we can add one rectangle. Choose the rectangle and change the color that way you like. Then select the artboard. Go to File, Export in After Effects. We'll rename it so we won't mess up.
then select all three and copy and paste into the mockup composition one maybe after the two second we'll show this mockup we can select all three layers to uh, two second So we need to continue the same video for the second mockup as well. So in order to do that, simply you can press Command Shift D. So we could split the video. You could see it here. Now we can move this video top of the layer. So we could see everything clearly. So we gonna place our video in a perspective. So we can adjust the height and width a little bit. Then go to Effect search for corner pin so you can drag this into the video layer so you could see the property right now we can select each edges and we can adjust in a perspective it's the same like a photoshop so you could adjust each corner once it's done we'll drag in under the layer so again it's kind of a mask so we have placed our video in a perspective so after two second our mockup will appear so we'll add one more mockup so this is the third trick again we'll go to photoshop and now here sometime you could get this kind of a mockup so only the two layers select the background layer and double click this lock icon if your layer is locked then select one dummy layer for a better visibility again the process is the same so we can select this mask area and we can delete this then we can hide the top one so we could see clearly so this image is very square so we need little rectangle size so for that maybe we can use our crop tool and we can extend it the width right and left side and simply we can add a selection command T to free transform so we can extend to right the same way in left now the image looks fine so again so we can go to XD we can create a notebook and we can simply drag this image Once it's aligned, so we'll uh, export an After Effects and we can rename it again. Then we can select this and we can paste into mockup on composition. So we can move it to 4 seconds. So again we can select the video so we can trim it again so command shift D so we can duplicate then we can select the video it's still in a perspective so we can reset it and we can move uh, top of the layer if you want again we'll resize it based on our mockup Again, we'll choose the corner pin and we can put it in the layer so we can adjust again so once it's done again we can push it under mobile 3 so you could see guys we have placed three different video but one problem so there are no movement in it like it's very stock kind of a thing for that, so we can select all of them, we can pre compo So simply we can go to layers, new and camera. So don't worry about the properties, let it be because we gonna change only the position. After added your camera, so you could open this layer. So we gonna create position and orientation 
so we can select the key after two second so also the same key then we'll go to that key value to minus you could see nothing is happened right because we not turned on the 3d uh, properties so just go here you can select this now you could see the changes maybe for now we'll change only the position then select this both keyframe and right click and choose easy ease and click the graph editor so you can adjust that based on your need the same way you could have multiple keyframe so you can adjust maybe a little zoom in and zoom out so it will have some moment in your uh, video so that's it guys so 